everyone, welcome back. I hope you're all doing really well. I thought I'd do a garden tour for you today because it has changed quite a lot since the last video. I've got a few new bits around the garden, obviously all the plants have grown quite a bit as well, so I'm just going to take you around the garden and show you what's new. It's beautiful today, bright blue skies, it's, I think it's 28 degrees Celsius today, so we're having a bit of a heat wave. So one of the new things that I've got in the garden are these wooden posts here. So I kind of wanted to separate the patio from the grassed area. And I've seen these wooden posts in a lot of tropical gardens. They're usually round, but I couldn't get hold of any round ones that just screwed into the wooden edging. So these are actually pre-drilled. So all you do is drill holes in your wooden sleepers and then you just literally screw them in. I'll attach details below of where I got them from, but this was a much easier option than creating the posts myself and I didn't want to concrete them in anywhere. So these are literally screwed into the wooden edging and then I just used some Gorilla Glue just to help strengthen them a bit. You're not meant to lean on them, they're just purely decorative. And I had a go at whipping the ends of the rope. I didn't actually have to do this because this is synthetic rope, so it's actually sealed by heat at the end. I just used a lighter, but I wanted to do it for decorative purposes. I think it looks quite nice. And then I just finished it off with some of this fish netting. I actually stained this fish netting in some tea just to make it look a little bit more weathered but I believe the sun may have kind of bleached it back to a lighter colour again so it didn't quite work out as I expected but I think they look really really nice. I also stained the wooden posts in light brown, I believe, the same stuff that I used for the tiki bar. So I'll just show you how the plants are doing. The bananas are coming along nicely. I did actually move these two bananas here, so they haven't taken off quite as well as the bananas that I haven't moved. All the cannas are coming up. The honeysuckle has gone absolutely wild. I love it though, it flowers most of the summer. And this one's called Drop More Scarlet. Also these festoon lights are new. Originally I wanted them kind of going over the patio, but it didn't quite work out as I planned, but they do look quite nice here. And I am planning to do a nighttime tour of the garden soon so you can see it all lit up at night because it looks really magical. I think the last time I showed you this middle section I'd only just kind of dug it and it was looking a bit barren. I've got my Colocasia esculenta in here now. Some grasses, my largest banana, but again it hasn't taken off as well as some of the others because I moved it. It has got lots of pups. I ended up moving one of my tree ferns here. It would probably be better in more of a shaded area, but this is the only space I had for it, and I've made sure that I've been giving it a nice drink every morning and every evening, and it seems okay at the moment. A couple of grasses here at the back, and also these decorative 
stones anew. I thought it made a nice contrast against the grass. It kind of looks a bit beachy. So the hibiscus is getting rather tall. Usually that flowers in July, I think. So it's not quite ready yet. My pink chinas have multiplied like mad. Originally, I only had two tiny pink chinas. They were really tiny last summer. And now, there's loads of them. They're popping up everywhere. I have dug a couple up and I'm rooting those in some little pots on the patio. This caladium is not thrilled that I moved it outside and planted it in the ground, but we'll see how it does. My gunnera is absolutely huge. I've been feeding it a mixture of grass cuttings, chicken manure pellets and liquid seaweed, and I give it a really good water every day. It is actually sat in a plastic saucer as they do like boggy conditions. Again, this was a tiny, tiny plant last year, so I'm actually quite surprised at how big it is. It's quite hard to gauge the scale of it. This banana's doing really well. This leaf is absolutely huge. And there are a couple of pups around the base. A couple of them I did dig up and they are in pots on the patio. I can't wait to see how big the bananas get this year. Oh, and also I think the last time I showed you my grass, it looked absolutely horrendous because I had a problem with um, leather jacket grubs, but I managed to save the grass. Well, actually it took quite a lot of work. I had to reseed it. I think I put about four boxes of grass seed down on it, but it's looking really lush and green now. Really happy about that. My tree fern has got some new fronds, nice and green. Again, I give this a good drink a couple of times a day. brought another caladium out and left it in a pot. It has actually got a slight bit of sunburn. Actually, that was from the grow light, not even from the sun. I've moved it out since then. So I'll see how it does. It's a nice shaded area back here, so it should be okay. I'll keep you posted. I am growing a few inside and a few of them outside. My hosta's huge much bigger than last year. It's really beautiful. The slugs completely devoured it last year, but this year they don't seem to have eaten it. Only a little bit. This is a new palm. Cheap and cheerful from home base. I love these. I love how soft the, um, the leaves are. Since my last video, I've also stained the shed a darker colour. It's actually the same colour as my tiki bar. When I first did it, it came out really, really dark and I thought, oh no, what have I done? But actually I've got used to it now and I did give it a little sand in places afterwards to make it look a little bit more rustic and weathered. So I added these fishing nets and glass floats on the side. Then I've got this plaque on the door. I got this one off eBay. 
actually really like it now. It kind of blends in a bit more with the plants and doesn't stick out as much. It was a kind of light orange colour before. Everything's doing really well in this shady side of the garden. Oh yes, my hydrangea simanii started flowering. I actually can't believe how much it's grown. I read that these were very slow growing. It obviously is loving it over here. They do like the shade, but I wasn't expecting it to flower this year, so that was a nice surprise. My other hydrangeas will be flowering soon. T-Rex is getting rather large. I'm really excited to see how big it gets this year. Again, this was a tiny plant last year. Just growing a few random things in pots. Some begonias, some mint. banana pups. I've got an oxalis on the bar. I finally repotted my dwarf fan palm. He's got a wooden barrel pot. another one of these pots here. These were really cheap, they were less than £10 from home base. This guy is finally coming along, getting his lovely maroon leaves. I think I might sell this banana at the end of the summer just because I already have quite a few plants that I overwinter inside and I do have quite a lot of plants to take care of already so I think I'm going to sell him. Another canna here. It is taking its time this year but now that we're having this heat wave, I think they're all going to shoot up rather quickly. These are my tomato plants that were absolutely tiny in my last video. Huge now. I think that's everything. I think I'm just going to go around the garden put some nice relaxing music on for you and you can admire my plants. Thank you very much for watching, I really hope you enjoyed the video. Take care everyone and I'll see you all soon.